I just wanted to talk to you guys about an amazing experience I had last night. Um, I was, it was 3 a.m., I was high, I was a little just tired, you know, just relaxed, and I was laying in bed, and my son was listening to some lullaby music that kept playing over and over and over again, and I zoned out on the screen, and then I started to, you know, like, move my vision, and, I, and all of a sudden, I could see, like, I could start to see, like, a what looked like a beach, like in front of me, like a, there was some um, grass right on the side, and then in front of me there was some sand, and I was like, where am I, you know, what am I, where, where am I, and my guide was like, oh, you're at a tiki ho hut, or a tiki, tiki resort is what they said, um, and then I was like, what are we doing? Like, I was all excited and I was like, you know, so nervous and afraid of um, connecting. I was like, what are we doing? And my guide was like, we are relaxing. And I, and I just, I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, that makes so much sense to me. Like, I was so nervous about, like, that I had to go somewhere, that my spirit had to go somewhere, let me see my son, or like that my spirit had to go somewhere, and like it didn't, it was here, it was right here, and so I, I, was, I kind of like looked over at my guide, and I could kind of see like a white, a white line here, like beside my eye, and I was like, okay, I'm, I, I didn't look, because I want to save that for later, but... Um, I was like, what do you want to tell me? And the connection started to waver and go away, and I was like, oh no, like, am I supposed to ask you the question? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I asked what your name was. And then we introduced each other. Um, we kind of like, were like, nice to finally meet you, like, face to face, you know, like, talking like this. Um... Um, then I started to, when I was looking, I started to go somewhere else. Well, I asked if we could go somewhere else. And I started to see, like, gr the Amazon forest from above and, like, the river flowing through it. But I kept thinking about how crazy it was that I was doing this and that I was so relaxed and that it was, like, I was all worried about, like, them having this high standard for me and in reality I was sitting there meditating and relaxing next to my spirit guide the whole time and I was there I just couldn't see it and this time I was able to see it and what else what else would you be doing if you two were meditating and sitting next to each other what else would you be doing besides relaxing why was I so afraid? It's so funny. I just think it's so funny now that I actually realize, like, I was scared for nothing. <laughs> um, it was, it's actually very, like, extra relaxing, like. So then I asked, um, to see my aura after I started losing connection, and my son, my son started flipping over in the, mil in the middle of the night, and I lost my focus, but... I think I could have kept the connection longer if I would have had like more water in me, more food. Um, and then at the end I was like, I'm glad I finally got to meet you, thank you for speaking with me. Thank you so effing much, I love you. I'm just, I'm like overjoyed by the fact that I was finally able to do this after months and months and months of hard work, trying and trying and trying to do this, and it was like, no effort at all. It was like I was already there and all I had to do was practice um, seeing differently. I was practicing with those magic um, eye 3D things. It was like I had finally learned each concept that it took over months to connect, um, like go on a journey if you would like. I was at the beach, but connect 
Um, and it was just, it was so easy. Like, I can't explain it enough. You guys are way, all of us were, like, way too nervous for this moment. It is the best thing that has ever, one of the best things I've ever experienced. The best thing I've ever experienced in my mind itself. I can tell you that. I can actually explain what it's like to sit there and talk to your guy. The talking part was me asking a question and then receiving an answer that sounded like my own voice. But I knew it wasn't me because it wasn't the answer... I knew it wasn't me because I wasn't trying to make up any answers. I was being receptive. I was being open to any word or feeling or picture that comes into my mind. And I was able to tell the moment when she was disconnecting, like, hey, we're on the wrong track again, you haven't figured it out. And then I realized I have to ask the question. And then I realized, you know, this is, they're there. They know that this is the reality. Like, they know their reality. I need to get past this physical reality. And it seems so much more difficult. I always thought maybe, like, I feel like I was floating through the sky or, like, I don't know what I thought I would see. But it's, it's all right here next to you. You're already there. You can already look to the wall and see it if you know how to um, correct your vision. And that's with the magic eye 3D, you know, when you get up close to the camera and then pull back and like your eyes adjust and you can see the 3D picture. That's your eye is that complete relaxation. And that's what you need to be at to be able to see. Um, and there's many different like meditations and like just healing yourself will allow you to have clairvoyant abilities, but until you learn, and I mean, you can see them with your eyes closed, but if you want to see them with your eyes open, you need to learn trance and you need to learn um, this eye technique, which just comes naturally from doing those magic eye things once or twice a day, whatever. So, if you guys are trying to develop your clairvoyant abilities, I will be able to explain them now. I'm so excited to dive in to um, practicing them and like experimenting with this. So, yeah. Everybody have a good day today.